Hey guys, Stinger 30 here again. I got the DeWalt motor fitted yesterday, and after I finished fitting this motor, I thought to myself, should have made a video of this. It's not, not terribly difficult to do. Um, just make sure, of course, that you prep up your DeWalt motor first. Put your cables and things to the um, to the motor, and then um, there's fasten it to your to your uh, to your motor mount. Um, your stock axis motor mount. Um, you just need to drill these holes out here just a little bit wider so you can get it to fit the width of the motor and then um, once you've got that uh, once you've got that drilled out you can fit your pinion in do the pinion up make sure the pinion is going to line up with the, um, the spur and then um, put a few washers in and put a few sc um, screws in and screw the motor to the motor mount. Um, you'll also notice on this side um, I've, this is a dual motor mount and I've actually covered the hole in. This is actually a, um, a spare motor mount so I can go back to twin motors if I want to um, but that's just not going to happen. The, um, but uh, I can if I want because I've actually got a, a spare motor mount. So, um, But yeah, it's not hard to to drop it all in, just um, remove your transmission from your truck. That's not terribly difficult to do. Just um, remove the bottom skid plate, which is the one you can see here. Once you've got the skid plate out, just um, remove the uh, remove the screws from the CV joints underneath, and um, then remove the whole transmission, the whole transmission will lift up, there's four screws underneath that hold the transmission pull your transmission out and then um, remove the motors the twin motors, bolt this fella here in and you're good to go one thing I did notice yesterday when I did a quick test um, I needed to tighten up my slipper clutch because my slipper clutch was set up for the twin motors and it's just screaming its head off like I just cannot believe how much it's slipping I can tighten it up a bit more um, so the amount of torque that this motor produces is, is pretty impressive so alright thanks guys